How important is your life? How important is another person's life to you? Sometimes it makes a difference when you're too focused on what's going on with you, too focused on yourself to notice another person's problem. Out on the streets, in your car, and at home, that's perfectly fine. But when you're at a hospital, there's more people to consider than just you. We know how phones affect us outside of the hospital. They distract us when we drive, but they can help us when we're trying to meet up with a friend. Cell phones are a part of our already busy lives. They've changed to fit our needs. Should we keep changing with it? Cell phones are used to the point that it has become second nature to have our phones in our pockets, just like our wallets. We've learned we can multitask with them while shopping, eating, driving, and studying. We all have responsibilities. We take care of our families, we go to school, we have second jobs. As nurses, we're moms and dads who have to take care of kids. But that's outside of the hospital. What about in the hospital world? When the priority becomes the patient. Instead of completely banning cell phone use for the nurse who's a mom, let them use their cell phone in the break room for phone calls. Instead of completely banning cell phone use for a nurse who's a dad, let them text during their downtime to see how his son's basketball game is going while he's at work. No one is asking anyone to forget their families. At the same time, don't forget that the patient comes first. They are the reason you even get paid. They're the reason for your profession. We may forget that doctors have families too. They're always on call, half asleep, and ready to work at all hours. Doctors need phones, in fact, multiple means of communication. Pagers, the hospital phone, cell phones. Why? Because we all are there for the patient. Patients and nurses need to get in touch with doctors at all hours, day and night. As much as nurses need to communicate with family, doctors need to as well. However, doctors should have fair limits. Personal cell phone use should have restrictions. Unless the cell phone is being used to figure out what stage a disease is at, or the right dose for the new admit, or what the best treatment is, consider its use in the break room or break time. Stuck in a bed all day, sick, injured, with or without disease, bored, lonely, a young kid, or an elderly person. There are too many reasons why there shouldn't be a ban on cell phone use for patients. Patients need to tell their families about the good news and the bad. They need to ask questions, get answers, support, and relief from those they know best. They need that support system to get through whatever it is that put them in the hospital in the first place. How and why should we limit cell phone use for patients? Cell phones can be a distraction during procedures, meetings, and interventions. These devices should never be completely banned, but certain rules should be enforced and understood by the patient. Cell phones do damage in ways we can never see right away. There are studies on its waves affecting our brains, the frequencies affecting airplanes, so of course there are effects in the hospital. We may not know exactly how much damage can be done to machinery by cell phones, but we already know we shouldn't have magnetic items in our bodies while using the MRI. We can't even have food in our bodies before surgery. How much more is there to know about cell phone effects on hospital machinery? Enough to limit its use in certain areas, but, but not, not to ban, ban it completely. completely. Whether they're good rules, bad rules, important or not, we find reasons around them. However, regardless of who we are and what we do, Everyone needs to consider the whole reason for a hospital to begin with. Remember why doctors and nurses exist. Remember the purpose of a cell phone. Its benefits to you versus others. Who are we there for? You, me, or them? Patients need to be put first. Without them, there would be no us.
Because I know you want to use your phone. So remember, you're not alone. Oh, cut. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm not Will Smith, and she's not Big Smalls. Wait, so like our presentation, can we hear some applause? Yay. I got to cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, my.